Hi, I'm Peter Tragos, host of the Lawyer You Know podcast and YouTube channel. The saying goes, everyone hates lawyers until you need one. Well, I'm here when you need one to answer your questions and give you insight that you didn't know you needed. Welcome back to the Lawyer You Know. I'm George Tragos. And as you know, on every one of our uh, broadcasts, we encourage listeners to send in questions, and we do our best to answer those questions. At a recent broadcast, we got this question, and I think it's a question that a lot of our listeners are asking themselves. Why does Chauvin keep getting charged with multiple charges for the same crime? Like if I were to assault someone, why don't I get charged with federal civil rights crime violating someone's right? Doesn't it commit a crime imply I violated someone's rights? Well, that's a, a good question because a lot of people really don't understand the difference between state and federal. And to understand it, we really have to go back to when the country was formed and they were writing our Constitution. Our Constitution was written many years after the actual forming of the country. And one of the big problems was what are states' rights and what are federal rights? And everything that is not stated in the Constitution that's reserved for the federal government is reserved for the states. And we have, therefore, two sovereigns in this country. The federal government is a sovereign. It can do whatever it wants. It can uh, pass laws as long as it's within the constitutional framework. Each state is its own individual sovereign. So that state can pass laws. And therefore, we have two different organizations or governmental entities that can, that can work independently. You talk about double jeopardy, which is similar to this question. You can't get charged twice for the same crime. Well, that does not apply if you're charged federally and state, because it's only not being charged with a crime if it's the same sovereign. So the sovereign of a state can charge you with a crime, and the sovereign of the federal government can charge you with the same or similar crime and it's not double jeopardy because, again, the way the country was formed with well, these individual states wanted to keep their own autonomy and didn't want to be controlled by the federal government. Now, whether that's been successful or not, that's a matter of debate. So in this particular case, we have the state crimes that were charged by Chauvin, the murder uh, crimes. He was convicted of those crimes and he is going to be sentenced for those crimes. But now you've got the federal government charging a civil rights violation. The Department of Justice has a sp specific section called the Civil Rights Unit, the Civil Rights Division. And they investigate these cases to see whether any constitutional rights have been involved. Just because you hit somebody or punch them doesn't mean the Constitution is involved. In this case, we have several factors that show the Constitution was involved. And the real issue is the Fourth Amendment to the Constitution. Fourth Amendment protects you, protects you against unreasonable search and seizures. It also protects you under what's called the color of law. A police officer operates under the color of law. He's a law enforcement officer. And when he violates the Fourth Amendment, which is unreasonable search and seizures, we have a civil rights violation. So how does what happened here in this case with Mr. Floyd how does that violate the Fourth Amendment? He was held there for nine minutes against his will. So he was seized by that officer for that nine minutes, and therefore his Fourth Amendment rights were violated. So that is the seizure aspects. And was the seizure reasonable or unreasonable? Well, I think because we have this charge, the Department of Justice has determined that it was an unreasonable seizure and therefore it's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. It was done under color of law, which means by a law enforcement officer, and it complies with the federal violation. So the feds were allowed to come in, do a separate charge. They've been charged separately. They will be uh, tried in a federal district court. They will be sentenced if they're convicted in a federal district court. They can serve their state prison sentence when a state prison sentence is done, then they go to a federal prison where they will serve a federal prison sentence. So I think you can see that there's a long road ahead for uh, officer, uh, former officer Chauvin and the co-defendants because they've also charged those individuals that were standing around with the civil rights violation 
because they're saying they had a duty as these law enforcement officers, they had a duty to prevent the Fourth Amendment violation that was going on by Officer Chauvin. So I hope that explains to you the difference between federal and state, why the feds can charge it, and why the states can charge it, why there can be two trials, two sentences, and two sovereigns. Thanks for watching this episode of The Lawyer You Know. If you like this content, please share it with your friends. Make sure you subscribe to our page and like our videos. If you want some interaction, get in the comments and we'll be sure to get back to you. If you want to know any more information about our firm or this page, you can find out in the description or visit tragoslaw.com. We post multiple times throughout the week, so make sure you hit that bell so you can get the notification and not miss out on the next episode.